Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to another episode of Creative Tuesdays. So in today's video, we are not going to create anything, but rather we are going to focus on how you can export your animations into a high quality format in After Effects. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So with that being said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already created this simple square animation. So it is just scaling up and down just like this. Now I want to export this. So there are a couple of ways in which you can do that. So first of all, you have to add this to the render queue. So you can do that either by selecting the composition, then go to com, select this option called add to render queue, or you can press the shortcut, which is control plus M. So once you click on that, it will give you this dialog. So from here, we are not going to change anything because we are going to use the Adobe Media Encoder. Now I'm using the Adobe After Effects 2020 and in this version, they have provided a native support for Apple ProRes, which is a really high quality encoder. So we are going to use that. So once you have added your composition to the render queue, you can click on this queue in Adobe Media Encoder and it will give you this dialog. So from here, first thing you will notice that you can click on this drop down and from here you can choose whatever codec you want to use. If you want your video to be uploaded on social media like uh, YouTube, Instagram, then you can select this S.264 because this will give you a really high quality output with a compressed file size. So this is the best option to choose from. So if you want to tweak the settings more, you can click on this option and it will open up this dialog box. So right away you can see we have the format option again, just like we have over here so from here you can select whatever format you want so first we are going to select this and under the presets you will notice that it gives you some predefined presets so for example you are exporting for a youtube so you can select the youtube 1080p or you can select high quality twitter video whatever you want so we are exporting it to youtube so i'm going to select youtube and after that just make sure that your width and height are exactly to the composition so mine was 1920 by 1080. So this is right. And if you scroll down, you will see that we have this option called render at maximum depth. So just check this up and you don't have to select any other option. Just simply keep on going and target bitrate 16 is decent for YouTube video. And after that, you can select this option as well. We use maximum render quality. So once you have selected all this, you can just simply click on this and it will ask you where you want to save your file. So you can pick whatever location you want. Just click on save. And after that, you can click on OK. So in order to start the rendering, you can click on this play icon and it will start rendering. So now it has finished the rendering. Let's see our output. So over here we have the video file, which we just exported. And you can see that its duration is 30 seconds and its size is just 1.48 MB. So if I double click to play it, you can see that we have our video. Now let's see what other options you can select. So if I go back to After Effects and again, I'm going to go inside the composition and I'm going to press Ctrl M. Now it has added the composition to the render queue. Again, I'm going to click on this option. And from here, so under the export settings, we are going to check out some other of formats. So if you are OK with a slightly bigger file, but really high quality, then you can select the Apple ProRes format. So for that, you can select the QuickTime format from this drop down and under preset, you can select the Apple ProRes so you can select whatever you want. So let's go with Apple ProRes high quality just like this and it will give you a .mov file. So let's check this option so that we are going to render at maximum depth and I'm going to select the 16 bit per channel and rest of the things will remain same. Just click on this option as well. And now if you can again select wherever you want to save the file, just click on OK. Now again, we are going to render it out. So it has exported our file. Let's check it out. So over here we have the .mov file and you can see that its size is 28 MB and I can play it and you can see that we have the video right now we are just 
and waiting a simple square so you cannot compare the quality but if you have a really complex video you will notice the quality difference between both of these formats but again if you don't want to have a really large file then you can go with the s.264 otherwise you can select this ProRes format now let me show you how you can export your video with the transparent background and again i'm going to go under the composition and if i click on this button you can see that we have transparent background over here so now if i want to render this video with transparent background so that i can simply drag this video onto another video as an overlay so i can export it with the alpha background so in order to do that again you can go in the composition then press ctrl m for adding to render queue and now we are not going to go under the adobe media encoder you can select the options right over here so just click on lossless and from here you can select under the, under the format you can select QuickTime and under the format you can select Apple ProRes or whatever you want and from here you can select the RGB plus Alpha so just make sure that you have selected this option because it will give you both the RGB channels and the Alpha channel as well so once you are done with that you can enable the audio however you want just click on OK now you can select wherever you want to save your file just click on save and after that simply click on render so over here we have the transparent video file it is slightly bigger 38.2 mb as compared to this one now let's select both of these files and let me drag them in after effects and let's see so over here i have imported the file and i'm going to delete this square and first i'm going to import the normal file which do not have the alpha channel so you can see that it has this black background and in fact we have our animation over here so now if i delete this and import the other one so here you can see that we have the alpha channel so you can enable it disable it just like this so in this way you can export your video in a really high quality format or if you want to have the alpha background or transparent background you can do that in after effects so i hope you learned something from this video and if you want to learn more things about animation then make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.